how to backup configuration on Dell AMC Network Operating System DNOS 6 with Ansible? Maintaining a backup copy of your network appliance configuration is a good practice for all IT professionals. You could automate this process for Dell AMC network appliances using Ansible. I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module OS6 underscore config. The full name is Dell amc.os6.os6 underscore config, which means that it's part of a collection Dell amc.os6 specialized in module to interact with Ansible network collection for Dell AMC OS6. Collection require Ansible.core Ansible dash core version 2.10 or measure. It manages Dell AMC OS 6 configuration section. Let me summarize the parameter of the OS 6 underscore config module for the backup use case. The backup boolean enables the backup mode of a configuration. Once enabled, you could specify some backup underscore option. I suggest you to specify the D underscore path, the directory where to save the backups and the file name if you have a specific one. Otherwise, Ansible is going to create a file with a current timestamp. Demo how to backup configuration on Dell Networking Operating System 6 with Ansible Playbook. I'm going to show you how to backup the current configuration of a Dell Network Operating System 6, connecting via SSH protocol using username and password credential with enable mode privilege escalation and save it to a file with device name and timestamp. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Welcome to my editor. Let's begin creating Ansible inventory. This is the list of devices where Ansible is connecting to. First of all, let's define a name Dell OS 6 under the parentheses and specify the IP address as you can see, this is one IP in my local area network under 88.3. And let me define also some variable. I prefer to define inside the inventory, but you can use a group variable as well. I think more explicative. First of all, Ansible underscore user. This is the SSH username used by Ansible to connect to the device. Luca. And let me also write uh, the Ansible password used by SSH. This is a clear test, my secret password, but you are very encouraged to use uh, Ansible Vault. Uh, we need a super user privilege, so we need to enable Ansible underscore become. And the become method is enable for this class of device. What else? Uh, Ansible underscore connection must be the network one, so Ansible un dot netcom dot uh, network underscore CLI. This is the dialect of Ansible need to speak with this device. Uh, another thing uh, useful is Ansible underscore network underscore OS. In this case is Dell AMC dot OS 6 dot OS 6. So Ansible know which, what uh, is the right way of communicating with this device. Another thing very useful is to increase the timeout of communication. Usually it's 30 seconds for SSH. Let's increase to 120, which means uh, 2 minutes. 
some device need more time to create the backup file and respond to us, especially if they are busy managing network traffic. So this is a good practice to increase this timeout. And that's it. This is my inventory file that defines the Dell OS name and the list of devices, as well the parameter connecting to them. Now let's move on to the Ansible playbook. This is where the action actually is performed. One play name, backup, DNOS 6, and the, on the host list, let me use the same name of the inventory, so Dell OS 6. Let me disable system information facts gathering because we don't need it. And let me define one variable, backup underscore dear. This is the directory where I would like to save the file. So in my case, we'll be under slash home slash Luca slash network slash backup. If this folder doesn't exist, and Sybil is creating. So super easy. Only one task named backup using Dell AMC dot OS six dot OS six underscore config. This is the Ansible module of the Dell AMC collection. One parameter backup true and let me define backup underscore options. So in my case, I would like to customize the dir underscore path that will be the value of my backup dir. And that's it. So basically Ansible is going to connect to each device defining on Dell OS 6 um, pattern and perform the backup. Save it the output under the directory that we defined with the device name underscore timestamp. And that's it. Isn't this magic? So basically we'll create an inventory, we'll list the device and the playbook to execute the backup. What about uh, the software installation? Well, this collection is not installed by default because Ansible Core doesn't include it. So we need to have a requirement.yml with this collection to perform the first download. So let me connect with, uh, let me specify on the requirement YML. So it will be very easy to set up for everybody because this is a standard format. And that's it. Let's move on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal of my Ansible controller. First of all, let me demonstrate the time and uh, slash home Luca network directory and I have a backup inventory and a requirement file. Let me check it out that Ansible is up to date, is Ansible core 2.12, so it matches all the requirement. First of all, let me install the collection Dell AMC OS 9 using Ansible Galaxy install dash R for recursive and my requirement YML. It's going to do everything automatically and uh, we could uh, verify that everything was downloaded and set it up with Ansible-Galaxy collection uh, list. As you can see, this collection requires Ansible utils and Ansible.net common. So these are the software involved in this demo. Now we are ready to execute our backup. So Ansible-Playbook, let me specify dash E, my inventory and the backup. And damn it, we have a fatal error. Well, is the SSH fingerprint is not saved on my machine. So let me connect via SSH, Luca is my username and then the IP address. I need just to save a fingerprint, then I can type Ctrl C to the login prompt. We need just the fingerprint to be saved in our machine. And this time the run is successful, as you can see. We have a change status, which means some operation were performed. If I'm uh, 
listing the directory, there is a new directory backup with a configuration file instead, with a PID address and exact timestamp that uh, we run the code. And what if we execute again the code? Well, this module is not even potent, but it doesn't make sense. What is going to do? It creates another backup file and we got a change status. So if I'm listening, listing the backup folder, I will have another one. And uh, let me try to show you the backup. Oh, well, not. There are some sensitive data inside. So with file, we can see that there is a ashy text that actually you can print it out, save it in your repository or whatever you want. Now you know how to backup configuration on Dell AMC Networking Operating System DNOS 6 with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If this lesson was useful for you, we save our day and automate more. See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.